What's up YouTube? How it goes? And welcome to another episode. So not too long ago, we did a detailed review of the Surface Laptop 4 in the AMD configuration. If you're interested in that review, I'll leave a link in the description below. So feel free to check that out. But for today's video, we're answering a question that's often asked when people buy productivity based laptops, and that is can it do some gaming on the side? Of course, this question beckons the kind of performance you can expect if you play games on here, or even if it's possible at all in the first place. For the configuration we have here today, we have the Surface Laptop 4 in the 15 inch variant with the AMD Ryzen 7 4980U processor. We've also got eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 256 GB SSD. And yes, we do have the RX Vega 8 integrated Radon GPU on board. And this is, as I mentioned earlier, the 15 inch configuration. And we're gonna see if this laptop is able to run modern day games and what kind of performance you can expect. As always guys, keep in mind, if I don't have the game you were hoping to see here today, I apologize. It's difficult to procure it both from a cost and time perspective, but hopefully this test will give you a general idea of the gaming performance. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed the content, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Let's get started.
Okay, so a quick post analysis. So there's a couple of caveats to keep in mind. First and foremost, keep in mind, this is actually the base and the configuration that comes with eight gigabytes of RAM as opposed to 16 gigabytes. So gaming performance here is at its absolute lowest. If you do buy 16 gigabyte perform, you should see better frames and in some case, considerably better frame rates. However, with that being said, the processor is the same for the AMD lineup all across the board, no matter which configuration you get. So you may have noticed in some games like Grand Theft Auto V, for example, you're actually getting very very healthy frame rates at 1080p that were ranging anywhere from 30 to all the way up to 60 frames per second depending on the setting you were in. And you could definitely play that game at low settings and I could argue that you could even push it to medium settings and still have a viable experience. However, other games like City Skyline that are actually more single thread performance bound or CPU performance bound in general, you'll find that they perform quite poorly on the AMD variant. So you were actually getting as little as nine frames per second in some instances, which in my opinion, 
opinion, is borderline unplayable. I noticed that the Intel variant tends to do a better job of handling games like that. Overall though, gaming performance varies depending on the resolution you play on and the setting, but you can expect anywhere from around 20 to 40 FPS as the average. Some games too far better, some games too far burst. Burst worse for certain games to far worse however all in all you can definitely game on here just don't go trying to play cyberpunk on here you probably won't be able to even games like doom eternal won't work keep in mind this is a productivity laptop first and then of course it's a casual gaming laptop on the side as a bonus feature per se so as always if you're looking for gaming laptops there's plenty of reviews on my channel check those out but just keep that in consideration thank you so much for watching this video guys if you enjoyed the content hit that like button Subscribe to my channel. It generally helps me grow and means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll catch you in the next one. Solve Tech, logging out.